I wanted to make a quick video showing some of the process that I uh, am going through for doing the flooring of the studio. Um, I've already pointed out, like, uh, and through pictures, the, the uh, barriers and stuff like that I've put, put up on the wall and on all the different studs. Um, in here as well, uh, to go along with all the other soundproofing things I'm doing, is putting in a floating floor. And that calls for um, basically not allowing the, uh, the, the floor itself to touch wood. So basically everything that you see on the floor itself does not actually contact. There's a quarter inch gap between the floor all the way around so it doesn't actually touch the rest, rest of the room, the studio. It will be floating. As you can see in here, I've got all these things across here. Every one of these is sitting on, on these as well. Is more of that um, vibration, vibration barrier stuff that's going to cut down on it, as well as those grommets there I'm going to put underneath of these every 16 inches. So literally this floor will be floating about, uh, about a quarter inch above the floor that you see here. So underneath here is you, you have two layers of three-quarter inch plywood, real thick plywood with the seams running in opposite directions and then you have your, the um, vibration things, the grommets, then the joists then you're gonna have another three-quarter inch piece of plywood on top of all this so it's that's like uh, what four, five, six different layers of uh, absorption going on there and then on top of that uh, you have your carpet underlay, carpet itself so I mean it, it, really starts to add up whenever you do all this stuff for uh, soundproofing the floor. Potentially adding um, underneath here and these and all the gaps in here, uh, sand. So that'll cut down on the hollow sound whenever you're walking around is because you, you figure you're walking on plywood. No matter how much you, you do, you're still going to get some hollowness in the sound. <clears throat> Okay, some, some cool things about this floor I wanted to point out. Um, this, this room right here is actually going to be the server room. I'm putting a 19-inch rack mount system in here. And again, this is going to be another room that's completely separate from here. The reason being, you've got fans and all kinds of stuff running in here. Um, and the vibrations, it would just potentially make everything that I've done in here null and void because the fans would be blowing, making whirring, whizzing, buzzing sounds and all that kind of stuff out of here. So this room will be isolated. Another door right here that, um, and basically this whole, this whole closet is going to be super soundproof. If you think I went crazy on this one, this room is going to be even more crazy. Um, what I'm going to do here is, after, as you see all along here, this is all going to be the same thing as these are, these uh, two by twos. Um, including this section right here. And the reason this looks weird like this is because what I'm doing is called a, it's a, it's a feeder channel. What that means is if you figure you got a door here, you don't want a bunch of cables running through the wall and all that stuff. I mean, it would be hard to realize exactly all the new tech technologies and stuff that might come along and stuff like that in order to feed all those cables through. So what I'm doing is creating a channel that's underneath the floor. You figure there's going to be plywood on top of this. Um, there's going to be an access hatch that flips open right there, and you can feed cables through, and they go this way, boom, to another access hatch that's right there. And then a panel right here on the wall, which will allow you to um, pull all those cables through to your computer, monitors, and all that good stuff, your microphone feeds and all that stuff. Um, that... Uh, it, That'll be the only access, really, that this room will have for this room as far as sound. And I plan on doing all kinds of buffers and stuff like that in here under the floor. It's going to be underneath carpet in order to flip it up, all kinds of jazz. So um, this, this particular floor and this floor will be separate. I'm going to actually cut that piece, that piece, and there's going to be a gap between the floor that's there and the floor that's here. And... Um, It'll basically, literally, be two different floors, all separate of each other. Um, that's pretty cool, I thought. <laughs> I have all, as you can see, there's the two holes right there in the wood. 
they're going to go all the way around. This is going to be your power and Ethernet lines and everything run through here, accessed from the house outside. Uh, that's about it. I just wanted to point some of that out for you guys.